Red Bull flew me out for the third iteration of their Campus Clutch Valorant Tournament. It is the largest collegiate Valorant tournament on the planet. Countries from all over the world host their own qualifiers, and the winners get to represent their country at the World Finals. I have been fortunate enough to attend all three Campus Clutch events as an analyst, co-streamer, and interviewer. The first event was in Spain, the second in Brazil, and the third in Istanbul, Turkey. Just landed in Turkey after a 13-hour flight, and uh, currently, I believe it is like 7 a.m. California time, but it's 8 p.m. here, so um, don't really know how to feel about that. We had two full days to explore around Istanbul before the tournament actually started, and Red Bull set up some media days for us to hit the hot spots in Istanbul. Our first stop was to visit the Foot House, which is one of the VCT Valorant competitive teams. As for my first impressions of Istanbul, Turkey, it is beautiful. The people are so nice and so welcoming, but to me, the funnest part about Turkey was the cats. Start the cat counter. There are so many cats that I tried to record every single cat I came across, and we'll have a cat counter going through this entire video. Anyways, on to the foot house where we got to meet the owners of foot, and they toured us around the house. Absolutely amazing facilities here. And we got to meet their dog, which is just a, an awesome golden retriever. I mean, who doesn't love a golden retriever? Was making me miss my boy Finn a little bit. To my knowledge, this is the largest esports campus in all of Europe, which is pretty insane. The facility was just crazy jam-packed with training areas, viewing areas, and just all sorts of cool stuff. And then started our journey to hit some of the more iconic spots in Istanbul. Okay, so we just got back from the foot house and took like an hour trip into more of like the center of Istanbul. And we're walking around right now. I think we're gonna go check out a bunch of stuff. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we? <laughs> Our first stop was the Hagia Sophia, which was really sweet. And again, we got to see so many cats. Boom, double cats. <laughs> Woo. Oh, there's Another kitty cat. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Hello, kitty cats. Oh, On an adventure. Oh. Another kitty cat taking a selfie. So many doggos. Hello, <laughs> kitty cats. They just, like, they just get to move. Sorry, sorry, jump. Cat. Not disturbing. One cat, one cat, and a third cat. Where did you come from, beautiful? And across the street from the Hagia Sophia is the world-renowned Blue Mosque. After that, we had a short walk from the Blue Mosque all the way over to the Grand Bazaar, which is probably one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. The Grand Bazaar is basically an endless catacombs of a giant mall. This is pretty wild. Another one. Oh, on a mission. Okay. Adventure Kitty. Oh, another one. Oh. We got lost in it multiple times, and because of the conversion rate from USD to Turkish Liras, our money was worth so much more there, which was awesome. And as part of the Turkish culture, you kind of have to haggle for your prices whenever you want to buy something. So we took a bunch of Turkish Lira over there and got to spend a bunch of money on some cool clothes and gifts for our family members. While we were shopping at the Grand Bazaar, we were talking to one of the people selling shoes, and they actually said that they had a secret back warehouse, and we were like, okay, sure, we'll follow him back to this weird place. And this is what happened. All right, so we're shopping at the Grand Bazaar, and what is your name? My name is Rafael. Hi, Rafael. Nice to meet you. Sorry. <laughs> Rafael took us to his stock room in the back, which is just so awesome. This is so wild. <laughs> we just like went down three alleys and came up a staircase to this storage room this is so cool after that amazing experience at the grand bazaar we got to tour around a little bit more saw a beautiful sunset and just overall enjoyed being in istanbul and then we went back to the hotel to rest for a bit after a long day of touring around we thought it'd be a good idea to take a nap before dinner since we didn't get too much sleep the night before and that's when disaster struck guys we we messed up um so we got back from the grand bazaar at about like 6 30 p.m and we were thinking okay hey we should just take a quick little nap before we head out to dinner guess who slept for eight hours and it's now 2 a.m and our sleep schedule is screwed so uh, gonna figure out what to do for the next six hours before we should actually wake up 
Oh, hey. Some minor, minor mistakes were made. Yay. So we explored the hotel a bit until around 4 a.m., got some food, watched some YouTube videos, and dinner is served. And then tried to get a few hours of sleep for the next day. We woke up the next morning pretty exhausted, but luckily the hotel we were staying at just had absolutely amazing food every morning for breakfast. So we fueled up to head out for our boat tour of Istanbul. We're going to boat. Going to boats. To the boat. To bo I don't know what boat, but we're boating. We are boating. And who doesn't love starting off a nice morning in Istanbul with some Prosecco on a boat? Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, Cheers. Red Bull Campus Clutch 2023, yep. how are you feeling, Ian? <laughs> Maybe it's our third year in a row being here. Pretty sick. And uh, <laughs> every single time, I think, how can they outdo themselves, look after us better, whatever? It just gets crazy. We're not used to this, right? Yeah, no, this is awesome. This is like highlight of the highlight week out of the year, every Absolutely. year, the last three years. So the only time we see each other. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We just get to have a great time. It's awesome. <laughs> Cheers, man. Here we are. Good show. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> My king! After the boat tour, and obviously many more cats, kitty cat. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. we got to head over and check out the venue for the Red Bull Campus Clutch World Final Tournament. Now, the event didn't start until the next day, but this gave everyone some time to prepare and do the research about the teams we're going to be covering so that we could give everyone the best experience there. And now's a good time to mention this stellar lineup for the Red Bull Campus Clutch that's going to be running the show. Obviously, there's so many more people behind the scenes that help make this happen, but these people are the people on camera. And all of these people are some of my favorite people, so fun to work with, and so talented, and they truly just make this event a special time. After finishing all our preparations, we headed back to the hotel to rest up for the tournament to start. Day one top eight. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Boom. There's our setup. And uh stage is right behind us there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're pulling up. You're in the vlog. You made it to the vlog. Welcome to Red Bull Campus Clutch 2023. This is what everyone here is competing for. The top 34 teams representing their countries have been here for two days competing, and now we're down here at the main stage for the top eight. Day one of the tournament was for the quarterfinals. The first matchup was Ireland versus Czech Republic. Dupes off the off angle, right click classic coming through, and Hassa gets the 4K in the round. They're trying. Yoder's still there. There's that flash, but man, Yoder's looking for that ace. An updraft, recon there, right click classic two for the cherry on top. And there's that first pink. Tap on the spike. I mean, Nugget swings out easily picked off there by Pyotr. And that's going to end the first map in favor of the Czech Republic as they win it on Haven. Paint shells then behind, hit by a paranoia. On the spike now. The swing towards the left about to come up. Denied right away by Shouty. The defuse will come in for the Czech Republic. After two hard fought matches, Czech Republic came out on top. First off, how are you feeling making top four out of this tournament so far, securing your spot there? Yeah, I'm feeling amazing. Uh, last year we ended uh, top eight actually, so we improved a little bit. That was our goal, and yeah, now we are just focusing on the trophy. Next up, Peru versus Canada. Not on your side, Bird out. Doesn't One connect the trade through the smoke trades, but it's gonna be Tillo with two. Jesus flank though is ever important. Can he win this one versus one, one against Fab? No. One man left. Fab is an outstanding the entire side of Peru. So excellent on this offense. Tillo falls, and that's all she wrote. Mimi Peru. Fabazin gets one, but it's gonna be a collapse, a pinch out of Celeste. Beautiful play up through CT side at B. My goodness, they collapse in onto us. Now, player advantage for Peru. Player advantage, just one left, just none left. Although they fought hard, Canada fell to Peru 0-2, sending Peru into the top four. Map one, you guys were down two to 10. I don't, I, as a spectator, I was thinking, hey, 
this game is going to be over pretty quickly, but what was going on in your team comms to come back from a 2-10 and win map one? I mean, we always come back in almost every tournament, so our mental is, is very good. Um, that's it. Full Jeez. mental. Full mental. Full mental. I mean, yeah, the iron mental right there. Going down... Uh, Coming back from a 2-10 is just ridiculous. The other two quarterfinal matches were played off stream, where Indonesia beat Pakistan and France beat Sweden. We're walking out of day one. Pretty solid. Grand finals tomorrow. We got a show match. But it was a, it was a solid day. Long day, but it was fun. I'm ready to run it back tomorrow. Before we went over to the venue for day two, we started off our day, obviously, at the hotel, getting some of their amazing breakfast. And we had one of my favorite experiences of the entire trip. One of the hotel employees came up to us and said, hey, you guys seem really friendly. Would you like me to make you some Turkish traditional food? And I honestly have no idea what he brought me, but it was one of the most delicious things I've ever had. On top of that, we just had probably one of the most wholesome conversations with him ever, where we got to talk about what he likes to do and what he likes to do around Istanbul. And he invited us back and if we ever go back we actually exchanged instagrams and stuff so if we ever want to go back we can hit him up and tour around istanbul with one of the locals and it was just honestly one of the most wholesome experiences i've ever had and i ended up giving him one of my keo seals that i was handing out at twitchcon honestly one of my favorite experiences speaking of wholesome experiences we headed over to the venue and we have a whole crew of people that do hair and makeup and i'm not gonna lie i was in desperate need of a haircut so i asked one of the hairdressers if they'd be willing to give me a little bit of a haircut cut to trim me up and make me look good for the broadcast and this guy gave me one of the best haircuts of my life and it was just such a fun interaction because i don't speak very much turkish and they don't speak very much english so it was just hilarious to have him cut my hair and just going through translators back and forth overall super fun i also gave him a seal we took a picture and we went on his instagram story it was just it was awesome a great experience let's jump back in to the semi-finals for red bull campus clutch it's finals friday as we look to crown a champion in this magnificent city day two started right into the semi-finals with czech republic versus indonesia but all those angles to be checked. All the players playing offside. Then Piotr no. blowing up in the air. It's a 13 to 8. And not a slight single issue in the second half from Indonesia. It's the one that can make the difference, but it seems like a golden ticket lays in the hands of Indonesia. As expected, we got top two. Before we came here, we already say like minimal, we go to final. Hey, well, you guys are delivering. You made it to final. So, congratulations, that's amazing. Thank you. We're gonna toss it back up to Ian over there. Thanks, Kia. This is where I am. Thank you very much, brother. <laughs> he, he's looking for us. He's, he's, he's like, where are there. you? He's over there somewhere. <laughs> Indonesia moved on to the finals, and to find out who they're playing, Peru and France took the stage. Available. I don't think they'll need to use them, though, as Webodeos gets one. And now. Yozai, the last remaining, does actually throw out the blade storm. Why not with the off the 4K, Mimi? Now you're just styling on, having some good fun. 6-2 to Peru. Down alone, he'd have to do everything to keep his team in it. And it's just not possible. Peru, map number one. Celeb forced to back off. We'll check one more time. Wants to get that snake bite out. We'll get some damage in. A nice shot taking out. Yozai gets detained in the process. But now Soren, the hope for France, one left alive. Can you look in the right direction? Yes, you can. Detain, but it's Fabizin with a three claim to close things out. Mini, that's going to be it. Peru on their feet. A sweep in the semifinal. A valiant effort out of France. Grand finals. You made it. You're here. We How made are you it. feeling? I'm feeling great. But the last map I played so bad, I was dying through all of these modes. But we managed to win it. Before getting to the final match of Indonesia versus Peru, it was time for me to take the stage, along with many other awesome creators and pros for the super chaotic show match. We've got different rules every two rounds, and they are a little bit crazy to say the least. Every two rounds, we spin the dial. Oh, boom. yes. I remember this. That's actually here. our first round. So we're kicking off our first two rounds. Knife only. There he is. He had to look, look at his hair. Yeah, gorgeous. yeah. I mean, that, that's what I was gonna say. Like today, it, it's an important day for Kyo. Yeah. Oh, it's an important day. Match. Oh, okay. Yes. So yeah. he made his hair cut to a Turkish barber. It does look like they're making it work. Still, not a lot of help on scene. At Kyo is still healthy. He's still got everything that he needs to make something work here. But it, he got to be perfect. And Kyo's already done it. One to one. But Kyo's alive again. 
He even finds Tarek. This is a one versus one. It's just a single hit and it's done. Team Red. And Kyo's done it. And there we go. Let's see if that one goes in. No. Oh, it did, it did. Oh my god. Kyo, how does he do that? They're winning the game. Oh, look oh, at that. First of all, this is more oh. important. So, oh. He got to clip that. This is like literally one of the best clips of him. Besides his 10,000 great trampoline clips. Put that in the montage with the trampoline. Yeah, 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 literally. Well, let's take a look at the new mode. We have only shocked our, and we don't have average Jonas. This is going to go forever. Cameron really likes to give his new haircut. It looks good, though. Shout out to the barber who did it. It seems like there's not much of a chance, though. Nope. Kyo falls down in the end, and we're about to finish this game by the looks of it. 11 to 5 scoreline. We get, though. Is it going to be something a little better? Okay. Uh, no. This is the most honest I could think of a one on one duel. It's you and me. <laughs> Wait, are they just popping it's you back and, me. and forth in and out? Yeah, it's, it's you and me. There's a duel. Yeah, there's a fa fair duel. Who's actually winning right now? It's even. It's 2v3. Oh, the no scope doesn't work. No, no. But it's still even. 2v2. That was a shot up. Okay. And uh, now it's got to be Tarek here making the difference. But as you see, he, he has actually the ability to stay a longer life. Yeah, the Kyo shield is so it. good against an operator. It could be very possible. I mean, it's Alpha after all. Finds another. Oh, but he's stuck. Not in Kyo, there. come on! Oh, Kyo. Kyo. You'd expect better out of him. So it falls called ISO ult. Yeah. And it's knife only again. So it should be just one player defusing at this point. As Team Blue, uh oh, this is a long walk. Kyo's on it. He halved it at least. And enough distraction, it might work. Can they stick it? The Cove's not going to do anything in this one. One left alive. It's Kyo, the knife specialist, trying to win it. One still one. Mr. Fallen, stuck on the other side. Yes, still has some time to work oh, with. Oh, there we go. But Kyo's down. Team Blue take it home 13 to 8. Although our team didn't win the show match, I think my Molly going in the basket was the real MVP. And now it was finally time for the final best of five matchup of Indonesia versus Peru. The Viper Wall covering up where they could defend and defuse on the spike for Peru. Valdin is able to get one at least within the site. Oh, a nice cosmic divide! And Selan is out there! Three or four people in sight to stop that. Right so. around the corner, though, Wibbo Dios comes in for the kill for Ray. My and trade word. off on a one versus two. Advantage goes back here, and the wall comes up. Cost me the five from Widow Dios. Gun has to run in. It's halfway. He gets the first kill, but instantly traded off by Widow wow. Dios. Bruce, time to try to death ball. Cage is coming up, playing within the back There's of the map. One. Nice shot by Juto, but Oof. Ray's right there. Showstopper out right at the feet okay. of which he swings right up for the fourth. Sees the last one as well. At least the judge comes in for a bad five machine. The pain shell is going to keep him pinned towards the right side. And the ace wow. gets stolen, but nonetheless, still map point for Indonesia. Juto at the bottom of the screen is just trying to answer oh, back oh. against that rotate across, and the showstopper misses. Still a player within the site. It's Kush. Two kills right there as the spike falls. Whoa. Ten seconds left. All of them dropping, and map one will go to Indonesia. 18 seconds left. Thankfully, the spike is on the back of Salen. There's the satchel. The tap comes across. Ooh. And Ray uses the classic like a judge. Comes around with the right click. Counter showstopper coming out too. It's going to be Rocket Arena. Lands on both hands, Ooh. but it connects onto what? Ray instead. And the round comes in for Team Peru. As the hopes also dwindled for Team Peru. Only one wow. left. End it with the dagger. Second map goes once again to Indonesia. Absolute domination so far coming in from Indonesia. And the advantage goes back now for Indonesia this time around. Low HP at least is cut, so it's doable at this point. With Odinos moves forward with the judge. Crossfire Ooh. set up, and they will hold and anchor up the site. And now you have players that are pinned towards the A site for Team Indonesia. Beautiful shot though coming out from Kush. Lines up with three more! Goes for the ace on top of that! Oh my god! There's now only one left around the site. Spike is at least planted, but Weechi's there on the road. They'll get the defuse wow. here, and Peru will take us to that fourth map. Incredible stuff from Peru. Like that. Yep. Oh my god, right in their face. Just run for it. <laughs> Just run for it with the judge, and that's the first one to fall. Shuto, though, gets a nice timing. Wibbo Diaz comes in with the DP. Bucky with the kill. Another one into Gun. Oh! oh and Baron what? right in the face of Kush! From his killjoy within the side as Weechi up Look towards the this. staircase. Ray's just jumping around, just trying to waste down the util, just trying to waste down also the bullets, and just creating a space for his team. I mean, he's doing everything. Storming towards the side, there's only one left with the Blade Storm. Hunter's Fury out, ping down, taken down, and 
you've done it here on the big stage here in Istanbul. Team Indonesia are your Red Bull Campus Clutch World Champions! Big congratulations for Team Indonesia for taking the world champion title for Red Bull Campus Clutch 2023. Before we close out this video, I just want to say a big thank you to Red Bull and everyone that was a part of this event because it was just such an amazing experience. Istanbul is 100% someplace I want to visit again in my lifetime, and it's mainly because of the people there. Everyone was just so incredibly kind. We didn't have a negative experience with anyone from Turkey, and it was just so wholesome and welcoming, and everyone was so nice, and I really want to go and get to know the culture of turkey more with that thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you enjoy this kind of content please consider subscribing and i'll catch you in the next one peace